the book series hopes to be opinion forming, topical and relevant and tell our audience something that they didn't know before they came into the auditorium. I'm really, really proud that we've got people coming who actually have lived the experience that they've written about. Lady Hale was the um, head of the Supreme Court um, who ruled against the prorogation of Parliament, so that's very exciting. Sir Christopher Meyer, who was Britain's um, ambassador to Washington. We have Colleen Graffy, who was in the White House in uh, George W. Bush's government. David Kynaston, whose um, Tales of a New Jerusalem series has been an epic series published over the last 10 years, and I'm personally really looking forward to hearing him speak. Lord Patton, who oversaw the handover of Hong Kong back to China. Seb Payne, who writes for the Financial Times and has written a book called Broken Heartlands, which is about the old, what we call Labour red wall seats going to the Conservatives at the last election. I guess I'm looking for people who, number one, have written a great book, but also who are great raconteurs that really hold the stage, but also who have something really relevant to tell us today. There's a number of books that aren't out yet, and of course the joy of my job is that currently I've got sort of bound manuscript and proof copies plopping through my letterbox, so I do get to read the books um, before they're published. So, for example, I've just read Sarah Langford's book, Rooted, um, which is a book I guess it's a celebration of British farming. I guess what's new are uh, lifestyle events. Kitty and Al Tate are getting great publicity at the moment. Um, they've written a book that, on one hand, is a recipe book. It's about bre bread making. But it's also a book about how Kitty, at 14, became a very uh, depressed young teenager and really couldn't find her way in the world, and how her parents tried various mechanisms, and bread making was the thing that kind of unlocked her and took her forward. And so that's really exciting on two levels, because it talks about um, the current mental health crisis in this country, but also in a really positive way. It's a young person who I think is absolutely going to come on the stage and wow our audience and I'm really delighted that the two of them are going to be with us. George Monbiot obviously has a huge following. He's a huge name. He's written many books. He writes uh, for The Guardian. You know, people know him. It will be great because there'll be people in the audience who absolutely adore everything he says and people in the audience who are going to set out to be challenged with that event. We have started to build a body of work. We have momentum with um, publicists. We um, are known now by um, authors. And it's all credit to Roy Hattersley, who started the book series in 2000, and all the programmers and directors that followed him um, down, uh, up to me, really. And um, I guess that we pride ourselves on our hosting. We pride ourselves that our authors stay with us and, and enjoy the full Buxton experience. They go to the opera, they go to our recitals, they enjoy being here. There's the buzz of the green room. Um, they get to meet other authors and it's just fab. I think we're definitely on the map. Um, and that's something that the whole team should be proud of. Certainly our volunteers should be proud of. We couldn't do anything without them. It is exciting to think that we are bringing people to Buxton who will challenge your view.